continue this little live tour we're doing for you. Tosin Fakile is out there in Madison right now. Tosin, you've been out for a while. Do things look different now that the sun's up for you? Yeah, the sun is up. We're actually in a spot, Lauren, that we were earlier. So I'm holding this sign, T, and you might be wondering what this is. Where it's the Taco Bell sign that's splattered all over the ground here in Gallatin. And, you know, our weather team always talks about just how strong the winds are. Let me show you where that sign came from. Um, Jared is going to pan in that direction. And all this sign you see all over the ground came from right up there. That's the Taco Bell sign, that blue, and it's all over the ground here in this parking lot and on the road here in Gallatin Pike. I'm on Gallatin Pike, and I'm going to continue to show you more damage. You can see all that Taco Bell sign here. Right over here, you can see what's bent over, kind of like mangled a little bit. That's the sign for the donut shop right here on Gallatin Pike. Parts of that sign also splattered on the parking lot in that direction as well. We saw the owner earlier just picking up parts of the debris on the ground. I was told that that sign that you're looking at is a popular donut shop here in Madison. I was told that sign had been there since like 1991. Just to show you how strong the force was of the storm that came through this area here in Madison. We've seen down power line. We've seen trees toppled over in people's yards, kind of blocking people from getting out of their homes. That's the situation situation here in Madison. We're making our way um, around Gallatin, around Emmett Avenue, uh, Argyle Avenue. We're about to go towards Neely's Bend to see what that area looks like. And fire crews tell me that's just the situation all over Madison with down trees, debris everywhere, power lines everywhere, checking in on people to make sure they're okay. Back to you, Lauren. Yeah, Tosin, thanks so much. And it's interesting as we have this conversation about power outages, 88,000 people are without power. If you